Hello everyone, this is Mahesh Hassan and uh, I am going to solve exercise 1b of uh, D3, 7th uh, edition. And I will start from question number 1 of exercise 1b, solve each of the following equations and uh, we are going to use quadratic formula to solve them. Okay, you can use completing the square method, you can use midterm break if it is possible however so question number one part a that is x square plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 let me write quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where a is coefficient of x square which is 1 b is coefficient of x which is 4 c is this constant which is 1 so using the values of a b and c in this formula x is equal to minus b mean minus 4 plus minus under root b square is 4 square minus 4 in place of a use 1 in place of c use 1 divided by 2 into a which is 1 so from here x is equal to minus 4 plus minus under root 4 square is 16 minus 4 over 2 that is x equal to minus 4 plus minus under root 12 over 2 uh, well you can factorize 12 12 is 2 6 time 2 3 times 6 3 1 times 3 so x is equal to minus 4 plus minus under root 2 square into 3 over 2 2 into 2 is 2 square so the number which is square can uh, you can take it out outside the square root because square and square root will be cancelled so 2 will be outside however 3 don't have a square it will be left inside divided by 2 so if you want to solve it further then you need to find the value of under root 3 where well, under root 3 is nearly equal to 1.73 so x will be equal to minus 4 plus minus 2 into 1.73 divided by 2 that is x equal to minus 4 plus minus 1.73 into 2 is 3.46 divided by 2 once you will solve this with positive sign of 3.46 and once you will solve this with negative sign of 3.46 like this the negative once with the positive sign once with the negative sign so what you have got over here x is equal to no when you will subtract uh, minus 4 plus 3.46 you will get minus 0 0.53 over 2 and over here it will be minus 7.46 over 2 right now you can you can simplify it further point five three divided by two will give you minus zero point two six eight while minus seven point four six divided by two will give you minus three point seven three now these are two possible values of x well question number two uh, okay let let me solve question number two because here x square is three we will not solve three and four we will then move on to question number one party okay part number b just because we have three here with x square here we have one with x square so what will be the change question number one part b right so that is equal to three x square plus 6x minus 1 equal to 0 so coefficient of uh, x square is basically a now that is equal to 3 coefficient of x is basically that is b 
well this is 6 and coefficient of oh, sorry this constant is c this constant is c coefficient of x which is 6 is b coefficient of x square is a apply quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 into a right putting the values minus b is 6 plus minus under root b square is 6 square minus 4 a is 3 c is minus 1 divided by 2 a is 3 you can solve it further minus 6 plus minus under root 6 square is 36 minus minus plus 4 3 times 12 over 6 that is minus 6 plus minus under root 48 over 6 so from here it will be minus 6 plus minus under root 48 is 6.93 divided by 6 once you will solve this with positive value of 6.93 and once you will solve this with negative value of 6.93 so solving by both these values minus 6 plus 6.93 is 0 0.93 over 6 while this will be minus 12.93 over 6 0.93 divided by 6 will give you that is 0 0.155 and the second answer that is 12.93 divided by 6 will uh, give you 2.15 that is minus 2.15 now this is the possible answer for this part b I'm not going to do part uh, C and D because they have the same process, same procedure for C and D. Question number one, part E, and that is minus 3x square minus 7x plus 9 equals 0. So you are going to do, first of all, the coefficient of x square is A. The coefficient of x is b this is minus 7 is b and this constant is c use quadratic formula minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 a c over 2 a well that is equal to minus b is minus 7 plus minus under root b square is minus 7 square minus 4 a is minus 3 c is 9 divided by 2 a is minus 3 okay so you are going to do minus into minus is plus 7 plus minus under root minus 7 square is 49 minus minus plus 4 3 times 12 and 12 into 9 will give you 108 divided by 2 into minus 3 minus 6 x is plus 7 plus minus under root 108 plus 49 will give you 157 over minus 6 that is equal to plus minus 7 and under root 157 will give you 12.5 to 9 plus minus 12.53 over minus 6 now you are going to solve this is not plus minus 7 this is positive 7 excuse me for that so plus 7 1 with plus value of 12.53 divided by minus 6 and once plus 7 with minus value of 12.53 divided by minus 6 so 12.53 plus 7 now it will be 19.53 divided by minus 6 so 19.53 divided by minus 6 will give you minus 3.25 3.25 3 
3.251 of the answer and the second possible answer 7 minus 12.53 is minus 5.53 over minus 6 minus minus will be cancelled so divide it by 6 you will get 0 0.921 0 0.921 and uh, 6 so you can round it off to 0 0.922 this is the solution for this part so in my next video i will solve question uh, number 2 of exercise 1b so keep watching thank you so much